video before this one, you would know that Lucille made a very stinky diaper. So, um, I wanted to do a video on how I made the, stu the stinky poop that I used in that video. I'm actually making these videos backwards. This one I am making first, but the other one's going to be uploaded first, so it's kind of weird talking like this, but anyways, let's learn how to make this poop. And I've used this poop for Liam when I fed him outside and he had a really poopy diaper, so yeah, it works really well, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is make the poop. So you're just going to need a bowl and a spoon. I've got these two ones. And then you're going to want some water, a paper towel, a brown marker. I've got a variety in here, so I might use a whole bunch. I don't really know. I'm just going to get out a bunch of brown markers because I honestly don't know what kind of poop I'm feeling today. You know? You feel different poops certain days. Same with baby lives. They, they feel certain poops different days. So, and then you're also going to want, want some flour. So, yeah. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take my water and fill it up in my bowl with however much poop I'm gonna want. I'm gonna make a lot because I wanna make Lucille to be really stinky. So next, we're gonna set that aside. And now you're gonna wanna take your multiple browns or whatever brown you want. I'm gonna mix a bunch of them because I wanna make a really stinky diaper. So I'm using this dark brown right here. And then I want this to be a really vibrant poop. I'm gonna use this brown, this brown. I'm gonna use all my browns pretty much. I'm gonna use this one because it's like really nasty. Um, I'm gonna use this one. And the other two are, oh, that one's actually maroon. Why did I grab that? This one's a little bit too red for my liking, so I'm gonna use these four browns to make a really stinky, poopy brown diaper. And then when I put it on my thing here, ooh, that is really stinky. That is going to be a really stinky diaper. It's not even done yet. I already know it's going to be super gross. Then I'm going to take it and just squeeze it all out. Because we want every last bit we can get. So this is my super stinky brown color. I might even add a little bit more brown because I think it's not brown enough. It looks a little green to me. So I'm going to add this dark brown. It just looks a little greenish to me. I don't know if you guys saw the green in it, but I did. It's still a little green, but it's okay. It'll get better. Go. So now we have this super stinky brown color. You can make it however you want. Uh, I should probably have another spoon, but I'm grabbing another spoon. All right, I've got a second spoon here because now I'm going to go in with my flour. So I'm using a second spoon because I want to scoop it out. I don't know how much I want. It depends on how thick you want the poop. If you want the poop to be thick, you want to add a lot of flour. If you don't want it to be that thick, you don't want to add a lot of flour. I am kind of feeling a thick poop today. Really seal? To be a nice, thick, dirty, gross diaper. This already looks amazing. Right now it looks kind of like a chocolate milk clearly means we need to make this stinkier because we don't want this to be good and looking like chocolate milk when we want it to be a gross stinky poop. So I'm gonna add more flour and make it thicker, which as you can see it is getting thicker. It's still pretty runny though and I want, as I said, a thicker poop. So. I mean, it is getting thick, but it's gotta be thicker. I'm gonna add some more flour. That should do it. That should make it pretty thick and nice and clumpy. Oh yes, it is getting really clumpy now. This is perfect. Look at that consistency. This is a good stinky poop diaper to me. I could even make it a little bit thicker. Just a pinch a pinch thicker. It's a lot of flour for this one, but this is going to be a really good diaper. All right, this actually looks like soft serve ice cream, which is kind of gross considering this is going to go into Lucille's diaper. But now let's work on the presentation. We've got Lucille here, and 
when I like to do this kind of thing, I don't like to use my baby life diapers that often. So what I do is I take some saran wrap. It's clear so no one in your video will see it. And I just rip off a piece that's like as long as the diaper. So I got this piece here. And I just stick it in the diaper. You don't even have to tape it. You can just place it right in there. And then you put your baby back in it just like it's normal. And this way your diaper will be protected. And that way if you don't want your diaper here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put both pieces in there just to be safe. There, I ripped it but I made it work, okay. So now that it's, she's in the diaper with the plastic wrap, what I usually do is, I will try and film this as best as I can. What I usually do is I take like a scoop and I like plop it in there so it looks like she just pooped it all out and it's all nasty. You can put some on her. So I usually do so it looks like it got all over her. You can even put some on her butt, which I am <laughs> going to do. You can get it all over her as much as you want. I'm just saying her because you guys are probably doing this to a girl because there aren't that many boy baby guys. There's only one. So, yeah, you guys probably have a girl. So you want to get it all over. You don't have to use all of your poop. But then, oh, this one's leaking. All right, this is a nasty, nasty diaper. And then you can just close it back up. And hopefully it doesn't leak all over the place like mine is. And then you can like take your like rag. So I've got this right here, this face cloth, which is what I use to clean them up once they've gone potty. I'm just gonna like wipe her up and make it look like it's really natural. And she's got this super stinky diaper and you won't even know until you open it up. Hey guys, that's how to make a super stinky diaper and a poopy diaper. So um, thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe. And in the comments, let me know if you think this is a fun way to make a stinky diaper for a fun video. And yes, yeah, so we'll see you guys later. Bye!